So I saw this wind chime in the NRA Christmas catalog and was inspired to make my own. I got the chain, the split rings, the eyelet pins, and the wood disc from the craft store. You could probably get the eye hook from the local hardware store. I used 30-06 and 223 shells, but I'm sure other sizes would work. I made a layout on paper to accurately locate the pinholes on the wood disc. I carefully transferred the center from the paper to the wood disc. I used a tiny drill bit to make the pilot holes for the eyelet pins. The blue tape on the drill bit is to control depth. I trimmed the eyelet pins down to fit in my drilled holes. I used two part epoxy to glue the eyelets into the disc. I made sure the eyelets were correctly aligned and let it cure. The eye hook I had poked through the disc so I just ground off the excess with my Dremel. I used black acrylic from the craft store to paint the disc. So my first step with the shell cases was to remove the primers. Then I drilled out the primer holes so the chain would fit. I cleaned up the cases with Scotch-Brite and extra fine steel wool. Here's a good before and after. I coated the shells with paste wax to hopefully slow down oxidation. Here's the shells after polishing and waxing. So the plan was to run the chain through the opened up primer hole using one split ring as a stopper and one split ring to attach to the disc. The split rings opened up with the help of needle nose pliers. I used the pliers to close the ring after attaching the chain. The chain links could also be opened and closed uh, the same way. I was careful to make the chain on each shell the same length and also long enough to protrude through the case so I could attach the second split ring. So here's the chain with a split ring on each end. I attached the four 30-06 shells evenly spaced around the disc. I was happy with how balanced they hung. Then I repeated the process with the 223 shells. I experimented with different chain lengths until I was happy with the appearance and the sound. And here's the finished product. Thanks for watching.